You're gonna probably play for Oh my god! Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Gento! This build right here is a Hall of Fame menace. I made some slight changes. Did you see that last video? There was a huge issue. There was a major flaw in that build. Before we dig deep into this video, do me a favor, slap that like button one time for your boy Gento, because we are about to get lit. You know it's coming. You know that marathon is coming. And if this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, in that last video, I made a build and my speed was too low. Red flag number one. My stamina was too low. I was playing in the My Player Builder test game and I was like, why am I flashing already? It just didn't work for me. I was moving too slow and I was getting gas too slow. Uh-uh, no, mm -mm. no thank you. So I went back and made some changes to my build, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm ready for my career mode. Do you think we're ready for my career mode? Let me know down in the comment section below. I've seen some comments saying, Gento, you gotta hit the park up this year. Don't worry, I will. One thing about this build that I did change, I said, you know what? I don't want to make a build like the, what is it called? The standard person in the 2K community. You max out your perimeter D and you have all these attributes you don't need. In 21 next gen, I did perfectly fine with a 25 perimeter D, clamped them up. You weren't scoring on me. Whether it was Hall of Fame, my career, or if it was on the park, you're not scoring on me with my 25. So what I did with this build, I went ahead and changed my perimeter from what it was to the bare minimum so I can at least get Menace. Menace is a cool badge because if I clamp you up, you're gonna lose attributes. Even though I thought that's what Intimidator was, but Intimidator's only for when you shoot. So hey, that's a win-win for me. My steal rating, I believe I boosted it a little bit. My three was a 88. Now it's maxed out at 89. Just take a look at this gameplay right here. This build is way too deadly. I'm getting greens left and right. I'm snapping ankles. This build does everything I wanted to do. The dunk meter, I was actually intimidated with the dunk meter at first. I thought I was gonna dislike the dunk meter. So I played around with it and I haven't missed a dunk yet. I haven't tried the alley-oops yet, but I'm not using Lob City Finisher. So I feel like if I do decide to use Lob City Finisher, I'm going to be catching those lobs too. I'm going to be timing them. Guys, I am so hyped. I actually feel better playing with this build than I did the last build. It just didn't feel right. I was going to wait until the iOS store had the face scan so I can get the legit official series started. But I don't think I'm going to wait. If you guys are ready for some My Career gameplay, go ahead and let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you are not going to want to miss out. It's about to get extra lit over here. Just take a look at this. I love this build. And I don't want to spoil anything, but I got spoiled when I was looking at the leaks for 2K22 early. And some decisions you make really really matter i think i talked for enough man my deep range shot creator i was just a scoring machine in 2k21 next gen but i'm ready to hop into some gameplay guys let's see if we can smash 5,000 likes i know we probably can't it's been a long time since we've done that and when we did no, I didn't even go on a marathon. I, I wasn't as consistent. My bad, guys. I, I understand if we don't hit it. Can we at least hit a thousand likes like the good old days? Who remembers the good old days? Can we hit a thousand likes? Even if we don't, it's all good. Just knowing I have real people. If you're real, I'm not just 
talking to bots are you real leave a comment down in the comment section below because i'm ready it's your boy gen toe let's go